Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And here we go again. Uh, Britain issues warning for LGBT travelers visiting North Carolina and Mississippi. They issued a travel warning for two of our states. You know, they don't issue any travel warnings for uh, cities like Chicago where they're basically are living in anarchy. No. They gotta worry about who can use what bathroom and why. You see how twisted these people have gotten? The British Foreign Office has released an advisory warning travelers to be aware of controversial new laws in North Carolina and Mississippi before entering, visiting the United States. A travel advisory update directed to members of countries lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community was posted on the Foreign Office's website Tuesday. Uh, we'll take a look at that. The U.S. is an extremely diverse society and attitudes towards LGBT people differ hugely across the country. Not as much as you'd think so, you idiots. L LGBT travelers may be affected by legislation passed recently in the states of North Carolina and Mississippi. Not your business! For traveling, please read our general travel advice for the LGBT community. North Carolina, the controversial HB2, the controversial law passed last month that limits LGBT produ protections and forces transgender people to use bathrooms corresponding only with the gender on their birth certificate, which makes sense. Mississippi's law passed earlier this month allows businesses to refuse services to gay couples <coughs> based on religious objections. See, it allows them to, you know, if they have religion, they don't uh, want to celebrate, and I even hate to say this, a marriage of two men or two women, they can basically say no. But I've been rejected for... You don't always get what you want. You, I've been rejected for service before and never even been given a re reason. So, new legislation has led to boycotts and backlash in the business community. Bruce Springsteen Ringo Starr, Pearl Jam, I'm going to add one because I'm aware of them, uh, Boston, canceled appearances in North Carolina as a show of the opposition to the new law, and PayPal said it is abandoning plans to expand into Charlotte in response to legislation. Some cities and states, including San Francisco, District of Columbia, and the state of New York, have also banned non-essential travel to North Carolina. I already did that story about our uh, nutcase whack job uh, governor. British government advisory doesn't all include a political message, but it does refer to perspective. Travelers looking for more information about LGBT issues in the United States to the website of a human rights campaign group that has voiced strong opposition to North Carolina's new legislation. So we're going to take a look at that British uh, uh, office. Hang on. All right, this is the uh, UK government site. The U.S. is an extremely diverse society and attitudes towards LGBT people d differ hugely across the country. It's basically saying the same thing. We don't like laws there, so watch out when you're traveling there. This is ridiculous. Uh, whoever came up with this is a whack job. And the where are they getting these all all these whack jobs anyway? Just one nutcase after another. 
I don't have any problem with either one of the laws. And yet we have not cases and governments that are uh, going ape over this. We have not cases like Bruce Springsteen, uh, Boston, Ringo Starr, and Pearl Jam. And then the PayPal's canceling their thing. What's wrong with these people? Why don't you just mind your own business? You don't have to like the law. Just obey it, you idiots. The laws I don't like, but I obey them anyway. Cripes. So, this is the way we're going to work it. We're going to try to micromanage different states and they can't make their own laws. They got to obey the liberals or something. I'm not getting it. I'm disgusted by this. I'm furious. Thank God for North Carolina and Mississippi. That's all I got to say. And as for you, Bruce Springsteen, Ringo Starr, Pearl Jam, whoever that is, I have heard of them. Uh, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You disgust me. It's only a lack of time that hasn't kept me from really blasting them. I uh, like the way Jim Quinn put it on his uh, morning show. Liberalism is a it's just perpetual adolescence. I'd say that's about right. And the reaction to these laws is extremely adolescent. Or maybe pre-adolescent. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.